Good Monday morning, church. Uh, Brother Matt here again. Just wanted to uh, share a little devotion with you this morning. Our um, devotion reading uh, continues in Acts chapter 6. Uh, we're going to begin reading in verse 8, and we'll read through the end of chapter 6, and then we'll talk a little bit about what all this is trying to uh, uh, say to us and uh, how God can encourage us uh, even when people come against us. Um, verse 8. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. He was out doing what God had called him to do. He was doing great things for God. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians and the Alexandrians and of those from Cilicia and Asia rose up and disputed with Stephen but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he was speaking. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God, and they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and they came uh, upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law, for we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Stephen was a man that God had handpicked Stephen was a man that God was using in a mighty way. And when the hand of God is upon you, people notice that. People see God's uh, fingerprints, God's presence all over you. Uh, when I run into people uh, and I sense that God's hand is upon them, I want to be a part of what they're doing. I want to be involved in the ministry they're involved in. If and I can help in any way, I will. And definitely God had his hand upon Stephen. And Stephen, the Bible says, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. He was out with the people. He was out helping uh, God's people. Uh, he was doing the things that God had called him to do, using his gifts and graces to the utmost. And he was living his life in such a way that it was pleasing to God. Uh, we can't do any better. Uh, we need to live our life in such a way that it's pleasing to God, that we live our life each and every day in obedience to what God is calling us to do and to reach out to the people God is trying to reach and to share with them uh, the grace and the mercy and the love that God has for them. And, and if we will put our, our, our life in God's hands, he will use us just like he used Stephen and great Wonders and signs will be evident. People will know that uh, we have been with Jesus. People will know that God's hand is upon us. But here's the other thing. There's always going to be naysayers in your life. There's always going to be people who either build you up or tear you down, either hold you back or propel you forward. There's always going to be people in your life that are going to try to say, you know, uh, you know, what you're doing is not right. Uh, but if you're being obedient to God, if you're doing what God is calling you to do, you keep doing that because God's going to bless that. He's going to bless everything you put your hand upon. When we are living our life in such a way that it pleases God, God is going to go before us. He's going to be our rear guard. He's going to be on our left and our right. He's going to protect us from all sides. And he's going to help us to do great things for him and his kingdom. Um, I think the old uh, uh, saying goes, if God is blessing, Satan be messing. Uh, and I think that's true. You know, when God is blessing us, Satan doesn't like it. He's going to try to find ways to, to thwart our ministry, to stop us from doing what we're doing. Uh, he even brought false witnesses up. Uh, against Stephen to try to stop Stephen from doing what Stephen wanted to do and loved to do and wanted to do because God had called him to do it. Uh, there was a time in my ministry when uh, there were people in my life that were saying things that, uh, that were not true. They were saying I was doing things and saying things that I wasn't doing or saying. 
Uh, and then they were saying things that, uh, that I, you know, was doing, uh, and, and saying things that I was saying, but they were saying, I, I wasn't doing it right. I wasn't doing the right thing. And, um, uh, one day I was praying about that. I didn't confront the people that were out, you know, spreading these uh, rumors and lies about me. I just prayed about it and asked God to, you know, give me some peace about it. Give me some direction. And as I was praying uh, a prayer one day, the Lord just spoke to my heart and he said, every day I give you an opportunity to be a man of integrity. You keep doing what I've called you to do and I'll take care of your reputation. And from that moment on, I never stopped doing what I was doing. And I never have. Uh, yeah, there are going to be people in your life that are going to you know, come against you, that are going to say things that, that aren't true about you. You keep focusing on what God wants you to do. You keep living your life in such a way that it's pleasing to God. And he's going to do great things through you. He's going to help you to reach people for Jesus Christ. He's going to help you to make a difference in other people's lives. And he's going to be right there with you every step of the way. He was right there with Stephen every step of the way. And he was using Stephen. Uh, and, and great things were happening because Stephen was a man who was full of the Holy Spirit and full of grace. And he was a man of faith. And nobody could stop him from doing what God had called him to do. That's the kind of people we need to be. We need to emulate what Stephen was doing and do that. I pray that today uh, God will continue to bless you. I hope that, uh, uh, you know, we'll get back together soon. Uh, I miss you so much. You can't imagine how bad I, I miss being with y'all. Uh, and as always, uh, be safe, uh, be healthy, and stay in Christ's arms. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.